Okay, everyone. So now we are making the first program in Java to print our name. So first of all, in Java, we have opened the notepad. In the notepad, we are making a class. So here we are writing class. Then here we have to provide the name of class. Your first letter should be capital. So here class name, let us suppose that I am giving my name. So let's say Ankit. So here one class is created whose name is Ankit. So here I have provided the brackets so that it is the body of the class. Now one tab space I am giving. Here I am providing public. Public is the access specifier. Means whatever inside that, that can be accessed outside. So here public means accessed by everyone publicly. Next one is static. Static signify that this class object is not required. We know that whenever we make any class, the class can be called by the object. So here object is not required. That's why we are using the static. Then void. Void means no return type main. We know that main is the driving function. So here this is the main function. Here curly bracket start and curly bracket end. So this is the body of main. Now inside the main we are using string args. So that signify string argument. Here args is a array. So this is a array of string. Whenever we are dealing with the Java, it takes the input in form of string or the character array. That's why it is mentioned string args. Now afterward, inside the body of main, we are putting a tab space and we are saying system dot out dot print ln. Here understand that system means inside the system we are having output stream inside the output stream we are having print ln for the new line so here we are printing whatever is inside the bracket that will be printed on the screen so here inside that let us suppose i am saying my name which is anket varma so here this i want to print that's why i am writing the system dot out dot print ln so here first of all we are using the class that means we are going to create a class here we are providing the name of class let's say Ankit so here I am giving my name this is the class name in Java everything should be inside the class so here even the main function is the part of class that's why we have created the class so here starting bracket and the ending bracket that means this is the class area Inside the class we are having is the main function. Main is the function from where our program start. Before this main function we have applied public. That is called access specifier or access modifier. Here public signify that means it is publicly available. So here we can access it publicly. That means from anywhere we can access it. That's why it is made public. So we can access it from anywhere. Afterward we are having is the static. So here static keyword is used so that the main function can be invoked without instantiating the class. Instantiating means making the object of class. We know that main function is the part of class Ankit. And whenever we are going to access the member of class, we has to make first of all class object. So here we can access the main without making the object of class. That's why we are using the keyword static. So here we can invoke the main function without making object of class or without instantiating the class, we can access the main function. That means class object is not required. After that we are having is the void. Void means no return type. So here main function is returning nothing. That's why void is taken. Inside the bracket of main we are having string args. That means we are taking the string argument. Whenever in the Java we are using command line argument. At that time this string argument will be taken. So here the main program will take the string argument. 
Now inside that we are having is the print ln. So printing ln means new line. So printing in the new line in the double code we are saying Ankit Verma. So here Ankit Verma will be printed. This print ln function is the part of out. Out means output stream, which is the part of system. So system dot out dot print ln. So here now we are going to save this program. Now afterward we are going on the file. So here on the save as. Now here on the desktop we are having is a folder let's say Ankit. So we are going inside that. Now we are going to provide the file name. You should understand that whatever the class name that should be your file name. So first of all you should copy the class name. So select it, right click, copy. Now afterward file, save as. Now on the desktop we are having is the Ankit. So here we has to just right click and paste. Now afterward dot java. So here this is the java extension. Name of file should be the name of class name. So ankit.java. Now from here save as type we have to select all files. Now afterward we have to click on save. Or you can provide the double quote start or double quote end. That is totally up to you. Let us suppose that some of the time you forgot to click on all files. Then in that case double quote start double quote end will restrict so that it should not be saved as the notepad file. Because ankit.java.txt will be a notepad file. By putting this double quote start and end and selecting the all file it will be for sure save as the java file. So click on save. Now we have opened our desktop and here we have the folder Ankit. So double click on that. Here we can see that Ankit.java this file is available. Let us suppose that you want to open this file. So right click on that. Now here open with notepad. So here you can see that your notepad file is open. Here we are having is the code. Now I am going to cross this file. Now afterward we are going to run this. So for that we are having the command prompt. So I am opening the command prompt. So first of all we are going to provide the path where our file is located. We know that our file is on desktop. So here we are writing cd desktop. So the folder where our file is located is on desktop. Now inside the desktop we have the folder name Ankit. So here we are writing cd. cd for change drive then Ankit. So A capital N K I T. this is the folder name. So we are inside that. If you want to check that your file is available or not you can press DIR. So here enter. We can see that here our file is present whose name is Java. Now afterward we are going to compile this file. So we are writing Java C. So Java C is a compiler. Java compiler. We have to provide the name of file which is Ankit dot java press enter it will take certain time and afterward it will come back without doing anything that means your compilation is successful if no error come that means compilation successful and one class file will be created so we can simply put dir so here we can see that our class file is also created if we are going back to the folder here you can see that on the desktop we have the folder where our file was located ankit.java so one class file is created so that is the bytecode if i open this java file which we have created so right click open with notepad we can see that our code is present so this is our code but if i open this class file which is a bytecode so right click open with notepad you can see that this file we cannot read it is not a readable file so we can send it on to the network also. So that's why this bytecode is very safe. Now we are going back. We are closing everything and we are going back to the command prompt and here we want to run this bytecode which is ankit.class. So for running that we are simply writing java. So here java the name of file which is ankit. Press enter. So here we can see that it is saying error could not find or load main class Ankit. Now you may think that in your file is problem in your code is problem. No code is not a problem. 
because here we have compiled the code using java c then afterward class file was created once the byte code is created that means your source code is proper now the problem is loading your class file so that is the problem of class path so here we have the solution here we have to set the class path so we are writing here set then we have to write class path so set class path equal so whatever the path on which we are right now currently that will be taken automatically so we have to write set class path equal to press enter now afterward java will take automatically the class path so here we are going on the java one more time then writing anket and press enter you can see that here the output is coming that is ankit varma we are going back to the code here is the ankit.java we are going to right click open with notepad we can see that system.out.print means printing ankit varma and we can see that on our command prompt we already have this output so this is how we can compile the program using java c and we can execute the program so this is how we can print the name in java when we are dealing with the java program we has to follow certain steps so first of all we has to create the program so let us suppose that our program is starting with the class every java program should be start with the class let's say ankit then public means access outside static means class object is not required to access the main void means no return type main is a driving function here string args means it is taking the string argument then afterward system dot out dot print ln here we are printing ankit varma so this is the program we have created afterward we have saved this program with the name ankit dot java so here this is the name of program which is ankit dot java this is the source code which is created afterward we has to go on the command prompt so on the command prompt first of all we has to select the path where our source code is present so here we know that c drive user ankit varma desktop ankit so this folder here we has to reach now afterward we has to compile the code so java c this is the compiler afterward we has to provide the name of program with the extension so here ankit.java this is the name of program if your program is having no error then afterward line will be blank that means there is no error and your class file is created this is byte code and nobody can read this byte code so now is the time to run this byte code simply we has to write java and here ankit so simply java and ankit so here the name is ankit then afterward your code will run and you will be having output that is ankit varma so whatever you have written that will be coming ankit varma will be coming so this is how there are two steps we has to follow the first one is the compilation by saying java c and the name of program this is the compile means we has to compile the program then for running the program we have to write java and the name of program so this is for running the program and you will be having the output so this is how we can make the program in java and we can run that